Hello all. So I wanted to uh, record an update about my skincare. Um, so this morning I uh, I did a whole school skincare routine and I think I might have overdid it because I ended up, seems like I like burned my face or more so probably an allergic reaction because it's like, it's almost like a rash or some our hives. Um, so let me show you what I did today. So I used my my regular skin cleanser. And then I put this on. I'm sorry. I then I put oop. Then I put my toner, my toner on, uh, which I just started using probably three days ago since I've gotten it. Uh, and then I used this and then I used I used the Derma E that has the it's the purple jar that I have that has the uh, tripeptide 38 and collagen in it um, and then I used um, what did I use next I think I used this next then I used this then I used, I used this, and then I used this, uh, and this is, it's a moisturizer slash sunscreen, uh, let's see, there we go, sunscreen. And then I used my regular sunscreen after doing my whole skincare. And I think I probably overdid it a little bit today is what happened. I did notice that when I used the Derma E after I did my cleanser and the toner and the retinol vitamin C mask and then I used the Derma E that it burned a little bit more than usual. It burned the first time I used it, I'm not gonna lie. But it was more like a tingling thing, tingling sensation. Um, and so, uh, it's possible that it could, could have been that, um, I've been using it from the start of my skin, skincare journey, and this is the first time I've, if, I haven't noticed anything, uh, any inflammation or anything after use, uh, before, so I'm not, I'm really not sure which product caused this, the hives, hives on my skin but um, what I did after I did notice it um, I went ahead and rewashed my face with the CeraVe V and then um, I ended up putting this I put this back underneath my eye only because I've been using it for quite some time and I don't use it around where my my cheeks ended up breaking out so I went ahead and put that back underneath my eye because I really have a good feeling it's not that um, and then I did my my SPF moisturizer and sunscreen and called it a day. So tomorrow, when I do my routine, I do plan on I'm gonna skip this. I'm gonna just wash my face, do my eye cream, um, and I'm gonna do my SPFs. Um, this sunscreen is just straight up sunscreen. There's nothing extra in it. It's just sunscreen. But it's it's actually all the reviews say like it's really good for your, or not really good, but it's, it, it's great for the face because it doesn't leave a film and it's, it's like not clog, clog, clogging and all that jazz. Um, the other thing I think I'm going to still use tomorrow, I, I really, really don't think it's this because when I googled reactions to ceramides, they said it's almost impossible because we naturally have it in our skin. Uh, so it's they said it's if you ha if I had an allergic reaction to something it's it's more than likely not that so I'm going to do the things tomorrow that I think are the last cause or the least likely cause of my uh, rash or the hives I should say tomorrow and see see what happens um, and take out anything that uh, is more likely to be the irritant. 
So I'll film tomorrow again after I do my morning skincare routine so we can see the difference. Um, and you know, we like we kind of expected some of this stuff to happen, right? Because it's all new to me, adding products to my face. And as I said before, before I went through the mic micro needling, I barely did anything. I, I use this, but like maybe once a week, once every two weeks, maybe even once a month. Um, and then I called it a day. I didn't put do anything extra. Um, and let's say I decide to cut all this out again, like not do anything to my face. I promise that I will always put on sunscreen from now on on my face because that seems to be just like that doctor always says chest compressions, chest compressions, chest compressions, which is so true as a healthcare professional. I'm a freaking nurse. Like, don't I know it? Uh, every dermatologist is like sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. Okay. Like, so that <laughs> is the key. No matter what you do to your face, if you don't do anything, else do the sunscreen so yeah so that's where I'm at so we'll see